Thank you for tuning in. I want to share uh, the latest DronePan 2.0 beta, a release that we're about to push out that has waypoint integration. Now we've run into a lot of bugs with the SDK, but I wanted to put this video together for those of you that might be using DronePan or have a DJI and haven't used it yet. Definitely join the Facebook group and get involved, whether it's programming, testing, uh, QA, whatever, we could definitely use it. So we have the latest SDK version 4.2.2. I've just installed the drone pan beta and I'm going to walk you through how this works. So what I'll do first is I'm going to go ahead and take off. You can see I'm in the simulator, which just allows me to do testing a lot faster on the bench. So we're in the air. What I'll do is just change the panorama settings to keep it simple so we don't have to take a bunch of shots for this test. So we'll do one row with four columns of shots. Of course, it will take the nadir in addition to that. We'll use aircraft yaw. I'll save it. Now that we're in the air, I'll click the camera button. We'll go ahead and start. And then what we'll see is that the screen will flash. Sorry, the exposure is a little dark in here. And we can see the aircraft yawing. 90 degrees it will take four shots then end with the nadir shot so now you can see the camera pitching down it's really cool during bench testing that the camera does actually move the gimbal will go down and take that nadir shot and what we can see now is it tells us our panorama is complete now i do want to mention that there have been a lot of users that say hey i can't take control of my aircraft uh, when drone pan is done and this is somewhat of a bug in in the sdk what we've done is when the aircraft is yawing it will go into what you'll see up here is known as joystick mode and you won't be able to have control in joystick mode so at the end of the panorama what we've done is set a waypoint about a meter above its current location that will force the aircraft back into gps mode you should have control if you don't you can always toggle your flight mode switch away from GPS, back into it, and you'll have control. Now that we've taken our panorama, I'm going to switch to map view. You'll see the little panorama marker here. I can tap on it, it'll show us panorama details, our altitude, heading. The white arrow, or the white aircraft shows the heading of the panorama. You can see one row, four columns. But you can see our aircraft. I've flown away from the waypoint. I'm going to click launch and we're going to start the panorama mission and what will happen is we should see our aircraft head towards uh, this waypoint location you can see it moving on the screen over here it'll hover over that location adjust altitude yaw into the initial heading uh, direction so we can see here it's 177 degrees the panorama has started our aircraft is yawing. So it will take those four shots, what we saw previously in the camera view, but this will allow us to repeat it. Our final shot has been taken once again. We'll have the panorama complete message. And let me just reiterate, if you do not have control of the aircraft, toggle that flight mode switch. You can see in my case, I do have control because we use that altitude adjustment hack. Wanted to share that. Remember, your settings are saved and you'll be able to repeat them. We can go back to our camera view, fly to another location, change our panorama settings. Perhaps we wanna get some more sky. Once you tap this button, that will be saved to your map view so that you can repeat. Now this is early beta. We've had a lot of issues with the SDK, so bear with us. We're trying to work through them with DJI. Please continue to test and give feedback. And I've mentioned this before, if you're not a developer, but you want to just help test, when new code gets released, I can show you how this whole process works. Feel free to post a comment below. You'll obviously need a Mac so that you can compile, build the code and run it, as well as a DJI, preferably a Phantom 3 or 4. Those just make it easier to test on the bench. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.